Happy Monday, you mad cunts. Beautiful day down here in Burn City. Lovely day for a bit of trucking, a bit of freight relocation. But uh, let's tear straight into this gay marriage plebiscite bullshit, shall we? And why I think it's more shit particularly. Now, what's marriage? It's a contract between two people, essentially. That's all it is. Why is it such a fucking big deal that governments and churches and the like have to have a fucking say over it? Well, because governments and churches are fucking cunts whose sole purpose is to govern and restrict your life and take freedom of choice away from you. So, what's a fucking plebiscite? Well, a plebiscite's just a $120 million load of wank that's actually not going to get us anywhere or solve anything because it's not constitutionally binding like a referendum and the MPs aren't even bound to vote the same way. <coughs> so, it's a complete waste of fucking time. Now, apart from the fact that the ABS, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, are running it, which you wouldn't let those cunts run a bath, they're fucking useless, and 78% of statistics are made up on the fucking spot, we all know that, why is it going through a fucking postal vote? What's this, like a last-ditch effort to keep Australia Post alive? Fuck me. No, I'll tell you what it is. It's an effort to get old, dumb, racist, religious fucking morons down to the post office to send a fucking letter telling us how very angry they are that, oh, they might let the gays do the thing that we like to do. Oh, no. The wheels will fucking fall off the world. No, you know, all it means, if two dudes or two women have got the right to get married, doesn't mean you have to fucking marry one, you ignorant fucking cunts. So, there's been some interesting commentary already around this fucking shit. Like the Australian Christian lobby comparing the children of gay couples to the modern day equivalent of a stolen generation. That's how fucking backwards these cunts are, right? There's been a fucking royal commission into these organisations molesting children and they still want to say the two dudes can't get married. Hey, at least the two dudes can agree to finger each other. Not like the fucking kids you lot pick on. What an absolute load of fucking shit. Who gives a fuck what they have to say? And you got, you know, cocksuckers like Andrew Bold. Oh, well, what's going to happen is the marriage tradition weakens and blah. It's already fucked, mate. Where the fuck are you been living, Bolt? Oh, that's right. You live in your own fucking fantasy land, mate. We've established that. And so do the people that read your fucking column. It might as well be called The Dumb Cunt Report or whatever your fucking show is called. But uh, it's just fucking bullshit. Why do you want to have a fucking say, you idiot? It's got nothing to do with you. I, I just don't fucking get it. Bill Shorten's up there. Oh, anything bad that's said, that's all fucking Mel's fault. Sorry, that was a terrible impression of Bill Shorten. Every time that cunt opens his mouth, all I can see is fucking Timmy from South Park. Timmy! Billy! Fucking same, same. Father and son right there, if ever I've seen it. And you got Senator Penny Wong, Penny Wong up there. Penny Wong. Senator Penny. That's, that's interesting. Senator Penny Wong up there, who's normally got a reasonable fucking point whether I agree with her or not, and her own argument is, oh, but the children might be exposed to the hatred. Well, if those kids are gay or fucking transgender or fucking monkey fluid or whatever, they better harden the fuck up now, Dales, because it ain't going to get any fucking easier. That's for sure. And you got Tony Abbott up there trying to turn it into a, oh, this is a vote to vote against political correctness and... No, it's not, you backwards fucking cunt. The member for Moringa should go and fuck himself is what he should do. He's a dead set fucking idiot. Oh, stop the boats. And if you voted for that cunt on those grounds, let me ask you this. How many fucking boats have you ever seen? Fucking zilch, I'll bet. Fucking idiots. You know, it's, it's the tyranny of the majority, as James Madison, one of the founding fathers of the state, said. You know, it's the unwashed masses. You know, that's all democracy is. It's two wolves and a lamb voting on who's for dinner. When really, there shouldn't be anyone on the fucking menu. But, you know who else was really fond of these uh, plebiscites and referendums and things like that? And used them to gain most of his powers during the uh, build up to the Second World War? Old Adolf himself, yep. Fucking Hitler himself. Funny, Germany haven't had any since then, but, you know. Anyway. But I just don't get the mentality in this country that why the fuck do you care what two people do behind closed doors? I don't give a shit what people fucking do. I'm more offended by the fact that, you know, you can send your kids out to fucking play football. Like, that's fucking dumb. Isn't that the gayest thing you could fucking do? Dress up a bunch of little boys in hot pants that have made Kylie Minogue blush and send them out to roll around in the mud with one another? And then I'm fucking gay because I'm not into it? This country's fucked. I don't know how we've gotten this far down the road, but it's fucking ridiculous. Now, I'm just about done ranting here, but I want to mention section 51 of the Australian Constitution. 
basically the racist bit. The bit that, um, the bit that means the government's allowed to legislate for different groups of people that they see as inferior. What was it? It was to regulate the affairs of the people of coloured or inferior races who are in the Commonwealth. That's where this country fucking started. The union movement started to keep the fucking jobs for the white fellas. That's where this country fucking come from. It's a penal colony. That's how we started. That's where we're still going. The working class, we were all fucking locked up. The ruling class, they were the ones making all the fucking laws. So if you think that this government in any way represents the workers of this country, or the order, not even the workers, just the people that aren't in that top 1% of being born into the wealth and influence. That's all it really is. So, anyway, I think I'll fucking shut up for a minute. I'm back at the yard. Fucking, what time is it? What time is it? It's fucking durry time, cunts. But yeah, if you're one of those cunts that gets real worked up over this shit, like, I'm not going to go into the fucking... 600 gender pronouns and all that bullshit. Most of that's just fucking mental illness and just fucking general showboating and attention seeking. But if you genuinely have a problem with two people making a commitment to one another because you feel that it devalues your commitment to your partner somehow, you're a dumb cunt. And there's no polite way to say that. There's no, there's not even a need to try and put it politely. You're just a fucking dumb cunt. It's either that or you're secretly scared that one day You'll have a few too many drinks, and there'll be a gay dude around, and he'll trick you into doing some gay shit, and you'll fucking like it. That's what it is. All those years of hanging around in fucking football clubs, getting half a chub when the other blokes walk past, that's been in the back of your mind forever, hasn't it, cunt? Now it's, oh, they don't like the gays, oh, I'm a manly man, don't do that. If you spend that much time fucking thinking about it, you must be secretly scared that dicks are delicious, to quote Joe Rogan. So, anyway... The whole thing's a load of bullshit. It's, it's people's individual freedoms at the end of the day. You should be free to marry whoever you like. Whether it's fucking Bob, Bruce, Wendy, I don't fucking care. And if you do care, you're a fucking dumb cunt. And you're a major part, of, major part of what's wrong with this country and the world. The notion that for some reason you know what's best for other people and how they should live. That's the number one trait of a dumb cunt, you know that? Anyway... Have some air horn, bit of food for thought, cunts. Oh, actually, fucking, there's my little thing here. Don't forget, don't forget your fucking good cunt stickers, eh? Bentaxelcroft.com, all your fucking good cunt stickers, fucking more shit coming soon. More of these things I fucking sell, the more cool shit I can travel around and fucking see and do in this joint. The more videos I can make, the more, more. Cheers, guys.